from the battlegrounds developing in the United States. Well, with that, let's right, get right into the stories that we have for you for this segment. At a rally in Salem, Virginia, a state that analysts say is uh, he is unlikely to win, that is, Donald Trump is unlikely to win. Former President Donald Trump said on Saturday, which is November 2nd, that he ran for office to rescue the economy from obliteration even though it would have been easier to relax at one of his oceanfront resorts instead. What has he said? Let me take you through the exact remark made by him. I didn't need to be here today, he has said. I could have been standing on that beach, my beautiful white skin getting nice and being smacked, being smacked in the face by a wave loaded up with salt water. Trump was joined on the stage by women from a local college swim team who have objected to competing against transgender athletes. Some of Trump's TV ads have also sought to capitalize on transgender controversies. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin, who has carefully managed his relationship with the former president in the Purple State, appeared on stage with Trump and urged residents to support him. Harris and Trump have very different policies on major issues which include support for Ukraine and NATO, abortion rights, immigration, taxes, democratic principles, and tariffs which reflect the schisms between the Democrats and the Republican parties. Let's take a look at some of the responses and remarks that have come in with regards to this rally at Virginia. But you ought to take a look at those, uh, at those numbers. It's a, it's a terrible, it's honestly, it's a terrible thing. I stand before you today as the only candidate who can rescue our economy. And I mean from obliteration and restore it to strength, prosperity, and greatness again. I will do a real job for you. I'm going to work my ass off for you. And I didn't need this. I didn't need to be with you today. I could have been at a gorgeous beach in lots of places. I own some of the most beautiful beaches. I could have had that salt water from the oceans. I like oceanfront property best. I could have been standing on a beach, my beautiful white skin getting nice and tan, being smacked being smacked in the face by a wave loaded up with salt, salt water. And I could have said, the hell with everything. I could have had the greatest life in the world. Instead, I got missing a little piece of my ear. And we will, of course, keep men out of women's sports, I promise. Last year, the radical left's gender insanity arrived right here in Salem when a man was allowed to transfer onto the Roanoke College women's swim team. And I just met them backstage, the great swimmers. I didn't notice a male on that particular team. I didn't notice a male on that team. Perhaps I don't understand what's happening, but I didn't see any males on that team, believe me. But the brave members of the swim team stood up to the transgender fanatics, something new in our country. And those strong, and I would say beautiful, but I'm not allowed to use that term anymore with women, because if you say beautiful, it means the end of your career in politics. You're not allowed to say a woman's beautiful, so I will not tell you how beautiful they are, but they are beautiful. But those strong, beautiful, intelligent women, they won. They won. And today we're joined by seven of the great members, really championship incredible swimmers of the Rono College women's swim team that have gotten a little publicity. They've gotten more publicity than I have. What the hell's going on here? including team captain Lily Mullins, a real champion. Come on up. Come on up, ladies. <laughs> 